Welcome to Meditation. I'm Dr. Pat Dingle. Thank you for joining me. I will be sharing a scripture in the form of a responsive reading. Then I will sing a song. Following that, I will share the Word of God. We will be looking at Ephesians chapter, set, chapter 4, verses 7 through 13. This reading is entitled, Peace. It's taken from um, John chapter 16, also Ephesians 2, and Philippians 4. So it's a compilation of, of verses from different uh, books. Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered every man to his own, and shall leave me alone, and yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. Now, I'm going to read that again and begin again. The title of this reading is Peace. And I've already given you where the scripture is taken from. So I'm going to start it again. It's entitled Peace. Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. And came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace shall be with you. And, of course, may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Now we're going to sing. I hope you're singing with me in the television audience, Bringing in the Sheaves. I will be leading by singing all three verses. Sowing in the morning. Sowing seeds of kindness, sowing in the noontide and the dewy. 
waiting for the harvest and the time of reaping. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, sowing in the sunshine, sowing in the shadows, fearing neither clouds nor winter's chilly breeze. By and by the harvest and the labor ended, we shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, going forth with weeping, sowing for the master. Though the loss sustained, our spirit often grieves. When our weeping's over, he will bid us welcome. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves, we shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. Praise the Lord, bringing in the sheaves. That's a wonderful old hymn. Now to the main scripture for our meditation. Again, the meditation is being taken from Ephesians chapter 4, starting at verse 7. But to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. This is why it says, When he ascended on high, he led captives in his train and gave gifts to men. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions. He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. It was he who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers to prepare God's people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of men in their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will in all things grow up into him who is the head that is Christ, from him the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. Of course, we always pray that God's 
might have a blessing on the reading of his holy word. And the Bible makes it plain that when God's word goes out, that it never will return void. So it always accomplishes its mission. It's going to accomplish something. But I want to say to us that in this scripture, we see that we have one body in Christ and that Christ is the head of the body, just as he's the head of the church. And that in the body, we have evangelists and pastors and prophets and apostles. And so there are different uh, jobs that we do, but yet we, we are growing as a body and that we, we are, um, we shouldn't be tossed about by every doctrine, but that we should be strong in, in the doctrine of Christ and that we need to be able to reach unity, unity as the body and not just separate entities. And then it says in verse 14 that we'll no longer be infants tossed back and forth, being blown here and there, and deceived basically by the cunningness or the craftiness of uh, other doctrines, basically deceitful scheming. Praise God. So I encourage you to think on the whole body of Christ. And I encourage you to think on the body of Christ growing and not only growing as individuals in the sense that each of us don't have the same job, but think of us growing and that the whole body is growing and that we are growing not only growing up and maturing, but also that we are growing in unity. This has been Meditation. I'm your host, Dr. Pat Dingle, or Reverend Dingle, if you prefer. Thank you for joining, and I look forward to seeing you the very next time on Meditation. <music>